Hey guys, what's going on? This is Badfish and welcome back to Gone Gaming. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the beautiful and verdant city of San Pedro, my current ongoing City Skylines realistic series based off of the American West Coast. And today guys, we are doing something pretty fun. We are gonna take it to uh, an old build of mine, one that I posted, it was one of the like second or probably the second or third video I ever posted and it was a build of <coughs> a truck stop and it was okay uh for what i did at the time you know it was just me getting into youtube and starting to work on things so i wanted to take some of the stuff i've learned over the past few months and apply it to building a new truck stop and see how this one turns out in comparison so in the live play we're definitely going to check out that old build but yeah that's what we're doing today we're going to be building out a truck stop right on the edge of the map as trucks and cars are coming in give people a little place to rest and hang out and uh you know do all that cool stuff but that is the plan for today guys so i hope you enjoy the video if you do definitely leave a like down below that helps out my channel a ton helps me out and if you've been enjoying my videos overall definitely subscribe to the channel i usually post like three or four times a week it's uh pretty much all city skyline stuff at this point um for right now so definitely check it out if you're interested but what we're doing on screen right now guys so you saw me put out the base kind of layout of what i wanted this whole area to look like so i put down those parking areas and things now i'm just building out like a little starbucks sitting area a little bit of commercial here i am going to be jumping around a lot typically I, when i do my builds i like to have the buildings placed down first um, but just because this was kind of a new layout for me and a new thing to do i kind of grow it a little more organically so things are going to switch around a few times you're going to notice some things getting deleted and popping back in um, but for the most part, we're going to be pretty close. The roads don't change much, so from here the roads are pretty much set. Uh, but things are going to just change around a little as far as layouts and things. Just so I can get the gas station looking good and getting this whole, this whole kind of rest area looking good. So I am using the um, Love's Rest Area prop pack from King Leno. So I, for this build, I looked at actual Love's rest areas throughout the US. I looked at some rest areas by where I live and definitely watched some different YouTube videos. Like I watched Strict Toaster's video and Miracle Mile. I watched Airhead Junction, um, I believe $2.20 had one as well. So did my, did my market research for this one, guys. Um, but yeah, I just wanted it to look good. I really like this pack. I think it really helps out and it mixes well with some of the other King Leno stuff like the shopping center. So I'm using that to kind of expand the footprint of the main building. Um, just putting down some different commercial as well. So a lot of rest areas will have fast food places. Um, you know, it's quick, it's easy for people to eat and pick up and drive with. So um, I wanted to make sure I had some fast food stores and of course the Starbucks for coffee and things like that. And just doing some easy little detailing on the drive through and just on the space itself. So just adding like these arrows and lane markers and things like that. And then just some cars to make it look a little more used. Yeah, I'm a little more realistic, I suppose, as well. And I put those planners on the side of the Starbucks so people can go crashing into the, uh, to the tables when they're trying to go pick up their food through the drive through and so now I'm going to add a little more uh, food and commercial to this. So a lot of rest areas will have like one main hub building and a lot of times restaurants and stuff will be within those as well. Um, so I just put all these different signs down to make it look like, you know, there's a lot of food coming out of there and then just making a little seating area. Um, so I am going to put down a full block of chairs, but that is going to also change later uh, just because I decided to add some more different things to it. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure there's a lot of areas for people to get out, stretch their legs, um, especially where this isn't close to really any population center. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere and it's coming from, you know, the edge, other side of it is the edge of the map. So people are driving a long way, you know, whenever they cross this, they're already on a long car ride. So I wanted to make sure I had plenty of places for people to hang out, stretch their legs, make sure that they get some food and go to the bathroom so their kids aren't yelling at them the whole time or they don't pee their pants, you know, all that good stuff. So uh, just a few more little planners and stuff, kind of flushing out the little gas station area. And then I do like this truck wash asset. This is also a King Leno uh, asset as well. So thanks again. And I just thought that looked really nice. We're gonna do, add some more details to that in a little bit as well. 
And I put in this little public restroom. I used this in the last one I built as well, the last rest stop. Um, I just think it's nice. It's very simple. I wanted to have it just in case people didn't want to go into the big gas station or whatever, or into one of the restaurants. They just, you know, wanted to stop off and use the restroom. We got a little public restroom right there for you and just kind of boxing in um, these different this little patch here, I didn't want it to all be concrete. I wanted some greenery around it because we are right up against the water as well, which you will see when I do the landscaping and the live play. There is a big body of water right across the road there and right next to it. So I wanted to make sure we had um, a good amount of green space since it is closer to the water. And now we're gonna go ahead and edit out this truck stop, or not this truck stop, this truck wash a little bit, adding some cars coming in and out, um, and just gonna put some parking around it in a second here as well. So just putting down some cool little uh, lines here to delineate truck parking and adding my different truck assets and stuff like that, and making sure, you know, even though it's on an angle, that it looks all right against the kind of straight lines of the parking lot as well, which was difficult. I actually, I cut about 45 minutes, AKA like, I don't know, six minutes of time lapse of me just fiddling with these lines to get them to look okay. I still think they could look better, but I think they'll look all right once it's all said and done. But man, does that uh, get tedious after a while. So yeah, there was a, a lot of agony on the part of Bad Fish for that one, guys, on my part. So just know I suffer for you. So now what we're gonna do is just start editing out our parking lots. I didn't wanna make you watch all of it, so there is gonna be a jump cut, but just know I do put parking spots down. And now we are going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of a warehouse slash storage area for the cargo that's coming in and out of here with the trucks. So in my head, uh, this area, you know, a lot of long haul truckers might stop here before driving into San Pedro proper. Maybe they're coming from different states and they're dropping off cargo for then another truck to pick up and transfer even further. So this is kind of like a little way station for people to come in, uh, drop their cargo, spend the night, do whatever, uh, pick up a load, etc. So I just wanted to have this little cargo spot right here. I'm not gonna fill it up, so not all of those cargo spots are gonna be filled. It's not that wild, um, but we are gonna put a good amount down and just some different industrial props to liven up that area in just a moment. And then I realized there was no way cars could get to the drive-through of the Starbucks without going through these tables. So I had to move those and added some bollards so people don't hit them. So people can actually, you know, drive through the drive-through for Starbucks. I thought that might be important. Yeah, just a thought. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and make a little cargo yard. Uh, which I know I make a lot of cargo yards, but it turns out logistics is fairly important in life So if you're trying to make realistic things think logistics because things got to go places goods got to be sold and moved So like I said, we're just adding different industrial props to make this look a little more alive adding some staging um, Putting in like cranes and this little lifter thing that can lift the smaller ones And we are gonna switch out that crane for a smaller one in just a second Just because I realized when I was looking at it the crane I did put down was way too aggressive um, It looked like it was meant more for like a skyscraper or just like very intense construction projects So I didn't want to do that um, So I ended up just putting in like a smaller movable crane that looks a little bit better for this space It looks a little more believable a little smaller so you'll see me do that in just a second after I finish placing down this absolute buttload of trucks. So yeah, smaller crane, looks nicer, much easier. And we are gonna add in these cool little workers. So this is like a work crew pack off the workshop. And I just think they add a lot to the space. They're static, so they're not gonna be moving anywhere, but for screenshots and stuff, they're pretty cool. So now we are gonna finish up our parking lot detailing by just adding some fencing and some green space in between these two big parking lots. So between that storage area that we just built, that parking lot, and um, the last one on the edge here. So we're gonna put down some trees and some um, fences and things. So I'm gonna fence out the other side. I'm only going to show the landscaping of one side of this because again, it's very similar since they're both the same size and same width. So there's only so much you can do with the landscaping. So I did cut out me landscaping the second one, but I do fill it up. Um, but essentially what I wanted to do is just do little patches of uh, grass and shrubs and then some trees on top of that. I didn't want it to be like a full on wall of trees. So I do try to at least have some bare spots or switch up to smaller trees in the middle just to show a little bit thinning and make it look a little bit more realistic to the eye. So you'll see me just go through, you'll see me add some of those smaller bush trees and um, the bigger ones kind of in a mix and then adding 
little spaces in between. I think I actually do go through and delete some of these as well because I thought it looked a little too aggressive uh, at the end there. But now we're just gonna jump over to the main bit of landscaping I wanted to do today. So all we're doing is making a good old clump of trees and bushes. We're gonna control C and control <laughs> control V, except not control V, just clicking, um, and put down our different spots of vegetation. So this was all vanilla trees before where I'm putting in the trees now. So I just took those out and I'm putting in my own just so it looks a little bit better. Um, I know I could go through and landscape everything, take out all the vanilla trees. I will do that someday, just not today. And um, as far as this landscaping goes, big shout out to Urban Architect who um, recommended that I get random tree rotation because that has added a lot, I think, just to how my trees look and how the layout works. It makes them look a little less copy and pasted. So shout out for that tip. Um, I really appreciate that. And now we're just going to add in some of the brush in between the you know patches of trees, kind of connecting them more or less and just adding a little more intrigue to the landscaping. And we're gonna finish up today, guys, but of course putting down our details and our cracks in the roads and things, as well as some lighting. So as far as the decals go, I say this every time, but you can't have pristine concrete, doesn't work out, it's not real. And uh, I typically just try to put them down in areas of high use. So where cars are, where people are gonna be walking, where there's congregation areas, um, and just on those curbs sometimes, because those can get a little blank. But what we're gonna do now, guys, in just a second here, uh, I'm going to go through and add in some different parking lights and lamps and things like that and just try to brighten up this space because it was a little dark in some of those parking lots during the evening hours. Oh, and I'm just adding a little, another plant to here. Like I said, I just thought it was too many chairs and too many tables and wanted something else. Um, but we are gonna jump into me putting down those lamps and stuff. So I am going to let the music play out at this point. I will see you on the other side for the live play. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's time lapse. I hope you enjoyed your daily dose of motion sickness. Now, I know what you're thinking. This looks absolutely nothing like what we just built. This is actually the first truck stop that I mentioned early in the video that I had built way back in like episode three or four. So it's been a while. It's been a couple months. So I just wanted to take a look just so I can kind of for myself see the progress I've made as far as detailing and, you know, give you guys some ideas of the progress I've made. So this one's fine. You know, it looks nice enough. Um, you know, it's got some good little details to it. You know, it's a square little truck stop right off the edge of the road. So then we're going to zoom over across the map over into our new truck stop over here. And I just think this one is worlds in a way better. I think it just has a more dynamic look to it. I think it uh, has a better layout, more believable layout. Um, huge shout out to King Leno who actually made this Love's uh, Travel Center pack. It's awesome for truck stops. It works really well. Um, I saw some other people in uh, YouTube videos utilize it and I really think it's just like one of the best assets um, I found for truck stops. So again, we have a kind of like our little entrance right here with the big sign the gas prices on it and then as you come over here you have the little you know actual travel center complex on the right side here we do have a truck wash with the truck driving in right now and a couple couple leaving and uh you know just kind of this little truck parking right here right next to the wash some more car parking over here just for people to be able to utilize and it looks like there's actually yep yeah, that guy needed to get through so uh for people to utilize the different commercial areas. So if we go in here, we have our Subway, Burger King, and Flaming Ring, which is a vanilla one, and just some seating areas. And I like putting, again, of course, the planters, having those pops of green, and it wouldn't be San Pedro without the palm trees hanging out. So I think the planters came out really nice. We have a little drive-through for the KFC, our Starbucks over here with the green. But yeah, I think it turned out nice, especially this area. I like actually having the Starbucks props um, or at least things that match the Starbucks props as that truck just drove through everything. Hi truck. Uh, it, you know, these are at least green that you could say that's Starbucks branded. Anyway, 
over here we do have just a little cargo area so my idea behind this is this is a big truck area it's right as you're entering kind of the main population centers of san pedro so i wanted to have a place for like long haul truckers to like let's say this truck drove from another state to drop off this box and then this truck is picking it up and going to drive it to another state to drop off you know just kind of that uh handing of the baton area slash just a shipping and receiving warehouse right here um, I did get these new little road workers, which I love, and I actually haven't looked at their faces yet. So let's see. Yes, as he's somewhat floating. Look at that. Look at that beautiful mug. Gorgeous. I love them. So this is our little little shipping area right here. A little more truck parking, and then over here, of course, just more car parking for the actual rest stop area. And I did put in just this little public restroom, so if people don't want to go into the big gas station over here, don't need to get gas, but they just need to use the restroom, stretch their legs, I got a place to do that. Um, you know, there's definitely more details I could still add, like I'm just looking at this right now, I could probably add some trash cans in here and things like that, and just, um, you know, maybe a trash pickup area over here, but... Overall, I think this turned out much better than the first one that we did. I think it's a good addition to this little area right here. There's definitely a lot more we can do back up in here um, as far as adding things. But I really like the, like the way this plays with the elevation and kind of cradles that little mountain right there. And the last couple of details I just wanted to show you guys is just as you drive up to it, what we got going on here. That truck just took that lane change like a maniac i love it so we got a rest area sign exit sign of course next rest area is 56 miles so they're saying you better rest here or you are sol and then of course again the big love sign right off the highway so you see that there's gas here and the tourist info center all that good stuff so you go right over through here and jump right on and so it does only um come off of one side of the highway i think eventually i might build another rest area on this side of the highway down through here somewhere or down around here um, but we do have this other one going over towards this area so a lot of people are going to be kind of swooping through here to go over to the main part of san pedro because there's not as much going down on this end um, but again that is going to do it for today's build. So let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you think it was an improvement over last time. I definitely think it was. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. You know, that helps my channel grow. I really appreciate that. And if you want to see some more city skylines, see some more detailed builds, or if you just enjoy the sound of my voice, uh, definitely check out my channel and subscribe. I usually post about three to four episodes a week, and we got some good stuff in there. But again, hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you.